try to be dignified. But I got a testimony. Ha. Ha. I'm going to go back to when I was just a child, five years old, in my grandmother's basement. She had this vacuum cleaner. And I went down in the basement one day and then I told my sister, I said, let's have some church. And I'm five years old and my sister, she was my choir, she was my praise team, she was my usher, everything. And I began to preach in my grandmother's basement at the age of five. And my grandmother, my aunts, they were all there. My mother was there. And at first they were laughing. They said, oh, look at that boy. He over there preaching in the mic, they're preaching in that vacuum. Look at him. But then something happened in that basement. The power of God fell in that basement and they went from laughing to crying. And ever since that day, I felt the spirit of God on my life telling me that this is what you are supposed to do. See, because it's one thing to go through life not knowing what your purpose is. But it's another thing when God has already spoken to you and told you what you're going to do from a very young age. It hasn't been easy. My journey has been extremely, extremely difficult. I've suffered some things. My parents gone on to be with the Lord and I was barely 21 years old. But one thing that David said, he said, I've never seen. I wish I had somebody. The righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And I can tell you, even at the tender age of 20 years old, no parents, no support, but yet God sustained me. He kept me. Not perfect made some mistakes, but he kept me in perfect peace. When I felt like I was going to give up, he kept his arms around me. When I felt like I wasn't going to make it, he picked me up, he turned me around, and he placed my feet on a solid ground. So if there's anybody out there that feels like giving up, I want to challenge you today. Don't give up. But keep your hands in the master's hands. Don't give up. But keep on running. Keep on pressing. Keep on believing. Keep on shouting. Because God got a plan for you. Hallelujah.